Hello everyone, this is Iran Talk and in this video I'd like to discuss the true origins of the Indo-Europeans. My focus here will be on analyzing a recent study which took a look at the origins of the Indo-Europeans and this analysis will refute the so-called Southern Arc Theory also known as the Irano-Caucasian Anatolian Hypothesis. This theory was previously promoted and asserts that the Indo-Europeans originated in the Caucasus. Now this study has been refuted by a preprint of a study that's upcoming on the genetic origins of the Indo-Europeans. Now without further ado, I'd like to begin this analysis. As many of you may know, a 2022 study that was released in August of that year took a look at the genetic origins of the Indo-Europeans and it proposed that they originated in the Armenian highlands and the Caucasus mountains before migrating to Anatolia and the Pontic Caspian steppe. This uh, very weak and unsubstantiated uh, theory has now been falsified by the latest available genetic evidence. Now the study itself was titled The Genetic Origin and Linguistic Expansion of the Indo-Europeans. The three geneticists involved in this study were David Reich, David W. Anthony and Dorcas R. Brown. All three are known to specialize in population genetics. A point from this study that must be emphasized is that the Volga region was a major synthesis point for these ancient Proto-Indo-Europeans or Aryans and then there's also a later statement made that the Proto-Indo-European Yamnaya populations contributed to both the Afanisievo as well as the Corded Ware cultures. Thus, the Aryans did indeed originate in Europe, particularly in Eastern Europe and not in the Caucasus. For this reason, this study refutes the Irano-Caucasian hypothesis which proposed the homeland of the Indo-Europeans in the Caucasus Mountains, the South Caucasus to be exact. Now an issue with this paper is that the authors contend that the Aryans who migrated to Anatolia did not arrive from Southern Europe, specifically from the Balkans, but rather came from the Caucasus into Anatolia and this is not true as the historical as well as the archaeological evidence suggests that the migration did indeed come from the Balkans. Nonetheless, the study does acknowledge the Balkan route of migration and it's listed in this chart as Hypothesis A West. And as mentioned, this is the best hypothesis as it's supported by both archaeological and genetic evidence. Now this study featured nearly 300 new samples and you can see that these are the sites from which they were taken from and they're mostly in Ukraine as well as the Volga region. Here is another map of the sites from which these samples were taken from and you can see that the majority are in the Volga region though there are some in the Caucasus as well as some in Ukraine and only a small amount in West Asia. In fact there are many sites in the Balkans as well. This map does well to illustrate the European origins of the Proto-Indo-Europeans or the Aryans. Here is a PCA from the study and you can see that most of these samples fall on a cline known as the Dnipro cline. As you can see the two extremes of this cline are the European hunter-gatherers and the Caucasian hunter-gatherers. Though all of these samples are from the Volga and you can see that the southern Caucasian samples are much much below them. Thus, this is yet again further evidence for the European origins of the Aryans. The paper which I just discussed was not the only one that was released by the team led by Reich and others including Josef Lazardis as a second paper was released titled A Genomic History of the North Pontic Region from the Neolithic to the Bronze Age. I won't go into depth with this paper as I feel that it's not that uh, groundbreaking. Nonetheless, here's a map with the sites from which the samples featured in the study were taken from and yet again this is more evidence for the European origin of the Aryans as these samples corroborate the origins of the Indo-Europeans in the Pontic Caspian steppe region. Thus the Indo-Europeans were indeed a European population genetically. To conclude this analysis took a look at two recent studies on the genetic origins of the Indo-Europeans. What was found is that the ancient Indo-Europeans were indeed a European population and originated on the Pontic Caspian steppe and also had ancestry from the Volga region in modern day Russia. These two studies also refuted the so-called Southern Arc hypothesis for the origins of the Indo-Europeans. That's essentially it for this analysis. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.